Happy to be here. Thanks for having me. There's so many superlatives about this housing market. I mean, everything from prices to how quickly they're rising to sales like we haven't seen, it, especially at quieter seasonal times like this. You know, and uh, this morning in its report, the National Association of Realtors called out a lot of vacation home destinations, uh, places like the Jersey Shore, uh, some places out west, as seeing a huge increase in people who are buying homes because they can now work from them full time, basically. So where are you guys seeing the strongest luxury home demand? Uh, we're seeing it outside the major cities. People are buying vacation homes and then taking a permanent vacation where they're working from those homes. Just as you said, it is not just a question of supply. There is definitely more demand. The people who have lost their jobs working for restaurants in other service industries, those folks are not buying homes right now. It is the professionals who are able to work from anywhere who basically view this entire economic disruption as an opportunity to live wherever they want. Those are the ones who are really able to pounce, and they are the ones who are on the move. So outside of New York, outside of San Francisco, outside of the major cities in Miami, we are seeing massive sales volume. There's a couple of places that um, are kind of sitting out, uh, Philadelphia and Nassau County, New York. Why are those exceptions to this trend? Well, in Philadelphia itself, we haven't seen much demand within the city center. It's been all in the outlying areas. Why would someone spend a million dollars to be in the city when they could get a much larger place further out? So our agents have been listing those properties in the city itself and having less demand, but seeing booming demand as you go out mainline um, into the suburbs. So people are definitely just looking further afield. They don't want the congestion of the city. They're not willing to pay a premium to be close to the office. Uh, I'm not sure why Nassau County is down, but I can tell you that most of the counties in Connecticut are just booming. If you look at Bridgeport, if you look at um, all of the counties up north of New York City, it is game on. Yeah, Bridgeport is up 117 percent year over year. My biggest question about all of this is, is this all a mm -hmm. one time kind of reset fueled by the pandemic this year? Or do you expect these gains to continue? Because when prices for all homes on average are up 15 percent year on year, that's almost as high as we saw during the housing bubble. The fact that we're experiencing this right now would seem to suggest it can't be sustainable. But you do have low interest rates. You do have a lot of people who might make this decision next year for the same reasons. Is it going to last? Well, there's no way it can last forever. This level of demand is absolutely insane. I would expect it to last into 2021 at least. There are so many people now who have decided that they're not going to be able to buy a home by year end who expect to do so going into 2021, especially as their kids shift school districts. So I do think we're going to see this for some time. There are some short-term effects. There is no way that interest rates can remain this low forever. Part of what is fueling this boom is that the economy is just split into two and rich people are able to access capital almost for free. So of course, they're gonna use that money to buy homes. But there's just another group of Americans who are still struggling, who can not access the credit because we've raised credit standards and who have high unemployment. And I just think those two trends at some point have to collide. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.